Hey, hey, my name is Massimo Capra and I want to show you one of my favorite snacks. You know, I eat a lot of what most people consider weird food, right? But one of my favorite snacks is actually not a very weird thing. It's anchovies with butter and uh, a nice crostino. I, there's nothing weird about that. It's just that we are not used to seeing it anymore. It used to be a big staple in, uh, in hotels and in, uh, well, in Italy it still is, but uh, I'm going to show you this beautiful Cantabrian uh, anchovies. And I'm using this because I'm eating the filet as is, right on top of the crostino. It, these are creamy, they're not salty, they have the perfect flavor. So I'm gonna show you what I do. Little crostini, just like this, so there's two bites or three. I'm going to grill them. Simple, plain and simple. So come with me to the grill. I'm not putting any oil or anything on the bread. I'm just toasting it, making sure that it has a beautiful, nice little burnt mark, because I like that, you know what I mean? It's a little bit more exciting than just a anemic white bread that has been toasted. Just like that, oh yes. Oh, and if you use this kind of bread for crostini, it's, it's better day after bread. Don't get fresh bread for that. Now we let them cool off. Now, what I'm gonna do is I have my butter, it's softened, all right, but what I need is parsley. I'll take a few leaves of parsley. Boom, boom, boom. Now, because I'm doing a, a refined uh, sauce, I'm removing the leaves as much as possible. You say, well, what do you need parsley for? You know, parsley is uh, refreshing. It takes away a little bit of uh, the fishiness and uh, in case you don't like uh, that. And uh, also, it lightens up the dish. And I don't necessarily make this combination of flavors all the time because just butter and anchovies is perfectly fine. Somebody you can grab a lemon and throw it at me, but don't throw it at me. I've, I've done that before. One day I was in the kitchen, at the very end of the kitchen, and I said to one of my cooks by the fridge, hey, throw me a lemon. I'm going on working, and he calls me as he throws it. I got it right in my forehead like this. I couldn't help laughing my guts out. Capers, same process. We just chop them as fine as possible so that the butter is gonna be nice and creamy and smooth. Processors, are not my friends. I like things done by hand as much as possible. I find that they, they brutalize all the food. And, uh, and you know what, I mean, most of the cuisine of today is done with Vitamixes and, uh, and things. I still like the old-fashioned way. Food, when it's cut properly, you know, I mean, it's so much better. No, I know, this, this is perfectly fine. I just need a little bit, just a little bit. That's enough. So now with patience, since uh, my butter is a little cold, we're gonna smoothen it out. My heart is always cold. I mean, come on, man. What's wrong with this? It's already delicious. A little bit of lemon, maybe a little bit more. Don't be cheap. It's absolutely not too salty because the capers are in brine, they're not salty. And also, this is a savory dish. These anchovies, if you never had Cantabrian anchovy, I invite you to open your wallet, find a good Cantabrian anchovies supplier, which there are plenty, and try them out. There is almost no salt on it. They are fantastic. I have my butter spreader. Oh, baby. Don't be cheap. The key is not to be cheap. There you go. Now, this, this is amazing. When I was a kid learning in hotels, we used to have to make these ones all the time for the little cart, you know. Do I have enough anchovy for all of this crostini? And there you go. And this compound butter, if you add a little garlic, you can melt it on a steak. It's unbelievable, too. Steak and anchovies, have you ever had that? Anchovies on steak, a preparation of steak that was done back in uh, the 70s. Hoo-hoo, baby. I'm gonna show you something. No, I'm not a tweezer chef, but uh, but sometimes they're useful. No, I, I, I don't care about who uses tweezers. I'm just saying that to me, when you're starting to place food with tweezers, you're not giving me too much food. Now it's important when you're using the microplane and you're getting the rind off of a lemon or an orange. If you do it on the side and then you scoop it up and you put it in a bowl, you're losing a lot of the essential oils. Okay, the essential oils, when you're grating, it should be right on the bowl with the food in it so that all the oils, you know, when you squeeze it and you see the little spark, those are the essential oils that you're losing if you're not doing it right on top. Chef! All right, you're here. Thank you, sir. Here, stick this in your mouth. I'd love to. Oh, 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 easy, easy, easy. These are done, and these are delicious. Are they salty? Not at all. Are they salty? Not one bit, sir. They're not salty. I didn't pay them to say that either. Ow, 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 ow. No, I don't want applauses. I'm going like a... a, 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 a ow, ow, ow. That was so good. I encourage everyone to try this. This is another super simple. 
You have people coming over at your house, give them a little of this, Prosecco, Brut, Champagne. Make a few of these. My friend, this is excellent. And not because I made it, because it's an excellent combination. I did not invent it. I just did it for you. Enjoy it and wait for the next recipe. Make sure you subscribe, click those buttons. I wanna see a lot of subscribers. We got lots of stuff to show you. That is the stupidest, easiest thing you, you can do. I love you.